Thank you so much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for all the uh, kind comments yesterday. I was getting to those. You always make my day. All right, let's get into some of the ingredients that I'm watching over the short term uh, for the development of hurricanes and tropical storms. Of course, the water temperatures. Now, they're always warm this time of year. We're later in August at this point, so that's not a surprise. The heat content is high. That's not just warm water. That's warm water that goes way down. That's important. That really fuels these things, unfortunately, and could lead to some rapid intensification. So those ingredients aren't good. You see these water temperatures through the Caribbean, a lot of uh, 30, 31 degrees Celsius back into the Gulf of Mexico, right through the Bahamas. That's anywhere from about 86 to upwards of 89 degrees Fahrenheit. So warm water, warm water that goes down deep. So the fuel is in place there. So where are the hurricanes in the short term? Well, this is what I like right now. There aren't any, at least on the Atlantic side. I'll show you the Pacific side in a moment. There is a ton of action out there. I'll show you that in a second, but here we are in the the Caribbean. Now you look out here watching these areas of rain and storms around. These are a couple tropical waves moving by, but no signs of development. So water temperatures, yeah, they're warm, but it's not just what's going on at the surface. Almost more importantly, it's what's going on above our heads. Is there wind shear? That would be wind that knocks the top of thunderstorms off. That's good and dry and stable air. That's what we have right now. This orange shading that is all around throughout much of uh, South America, stretching back toward uh, the uh, Caribbean across much of the Atlantic. So as these tropical waves come off, they've been running into drier air and stable air. That's sinking air. So the air is sinking, so the showers and storms aren't bubbling up. That is excellent. Now, with that said, I know there's always a give and take with weather. This dry air, there's some dust in it, leading to some air quality issues. And, of course, it's also hotter when it's drier. We have been so hot. We've been baking in Trinidad and Tobago and uh, elsewhere around. So with that, uh, we are hot, yes, but there's a lot of stable air in the short term, but conditions are going to start to get more conducive for development in about a week. I want to show you that too. Here are some areas of rain and storms. We've been watching that. Belize, Guatemala, uh, we've had some scattered showers and storms. Spotty elsewhere. Had a couple thunderstorms nearby, even overnight in parts of Jamaica. I'll be watching us in Jamaica today for some pop-up storms. Look at this though. Here we are in Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador. You get out here, three areas. This is Gilma right now. A major hurricane, fortunately, staying over water. This one here, though, that's going to make its way closer to uh, Hawaii. So I'll show you that in the uh, model in a second. Now, just to uh, kind of uh, curtail some of the uh, confusion and some of the uh, names, the Eastern Pacific, which I just showed you, is a different list of names. I mentioned Gilma, a major hurricane right now. Hector, the next, next name on the list, that looks like it'll be the area, either Hector or Elena. Uh, there's an area on either side of Gilma, and one of these will, will make a run at uh, Hawaii. Uh, but as we get over toward the Atlantic Basin, Atlantic Ocean, Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. We have a different set of names. Ernesto's, which just kind of uh, brought the gustier winds to parts of the uh, uh, UK over toward uh, Ireland and some uh, rain as well. Francine, that's the F name. That's the next name on the list. In the short term, not seeing signs of that. Let me show it to you here. Now, two spots I'm kind of watching. I talked about this yesterday, of course, uh, off the coast of Africa, but also there's been a few fronts here uh, stretching back. We've had some heavier rain this morning over toward Freeport in the northern Bahamas. So just keep an eye on the Gulf of Mexico. I'm going fast here. Uh, just going over the Gulf of Mexico, watching some areas of rain just to see if anything does develop because, as I showed you, those water temperatures are so very warm. So just keeping a close eye uh, near home as we go over the next uh, few days. You can see that little surge of moisture right there lifting up to the north. We'll be watching out for that next week. But then as we get deeper into next week, that's when more moisture will be building off the uh, coast of Africa. This is August uh, 30th, so we're over a week out in time here. Still no big signs of development, just that spot in the Gulf I'm watching. But then we watch these tropical waves, and as I was mentioned yesterday, early September, things will ramp up. But look at this. As we get into, here's Mexico, uh, we get into the uh, eastern uh, Pacific. Here's Hawaii. So this is Gilma right here. There's another area back behind it. And then we have this area here. Uh, so all, all areas should be really developing at this time. And then this area is going to swing closer to Hawaii. This is by later on Saturday. Now, in the uh, Pacific, there's a lot of rising air. So on the flip side, it's sinking on the Atlantic side. That's why we're not seeing a buildup of storms, but it's rising here. And that's why there are three entities out there at the same time. There could be three named systems. And then by Sunday, there could be a system very close to the big island of Hawaii. We'll see if it brings in rain, could stay south, could get very close. But right there, one, two, three systems. And you can see how that one behind Gilma 
that starts to flare up. This is by the time we get into Monday. So plenty to watch here, but rising air in the Pacific, sinking air in the Atlantic. Here are the computer models in that area that's going to head close to Hawaii, which will be named Hector or Elena, depending on which area gets a name first. So watching that. Now, here's the deal with the sinking air in place. Yeah, there's some drier air for some of us, but we've seen some stronger storms the last few days. If storms can break through, they could be pretty strong. We saw that in uh, Belize and some spots over the last few days, Costa Rica and Panama scattered storms. So yeah, not widespread storms, no development, which is good. Just be mindful. We could get a few stronger thunderstorms. This is as we work our way into tomorrow. Could see a passing shower storm Trinidad uh, back through uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, Dominica. And then you see some of the uh, moisture here that we've been watching over toward the Bahamas the last few days. It's been more active, northern and central Bahamas. Swinging up here where we had Ernesto making that close call, Atlantic region of Canada, all of that's gone, but there are some of those fronts that are around, so occasionally we get some scattered areas of showers and storms. You see some of that moisture from the south clipping us by in Newfoundland as we work our way into tomorrow. Pretty dry as we get into parts of Quebec, but we could see a couple spotty showers and storms eventually as we get into Saturday. Not a lot, though, just a another week from that will be pushing by. Now, seas are better uh, because we're not seeing huge tropical waves moving in. This is meters. This is feet right here, and you don't see a lot of green popping up. Green would be about two meters to about uh, six, seven, eight uh, feet, uh, and you can see this is through the weekend. This is Sunday. That is some spectacular uh, sea conditions for this time of year, especially when we could be tracking huge hurricanes. We're just not right now in the Caribbean Gulf Mexico. So looking good. Any uh, boating plans over toward uh, the Bahamas? But watching the rain, though, with that, as you're on the water, we need to be mindful of some of those thunderstorms. That could drop 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Spotty storms as well in Cuba and in Jamaica. If we get a storm, we could see a few spots getting upwards of 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Could get a couple storms in uh, Puerto Rico. Hit or miss Guadalupe, Dominica, Antigua, Barbuda. Hit or miss St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Barbados. We'll get some waves of rain and storms. Uh, passing by anywhere from Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, down through uh, Grenada and northern Venezuela. Suriname, not much action. Guyana, passing a shower chance. And then we swing back here. Still some higher totals possible. Costa Rica, Panama, let me know how you're doing in the comments. And we've seen the rain. Belize and Guatemala, uh, some spots again over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. And then you get back toward uh, Mexico City, not quite as much as we build back uh, to the north. So a 40% chance of a passing shower or a thunderstorm the next three days in Jamaica, rain chance about 20 to 30 percent across the Cayman Islands. Rain chance 30 to 40 percent in Trinidad and Tobago. Very hot, but still that chance of a shower storm. We'll do that again in Barbados in about a 30 percent chance today in St. Lucia. Could get a 50 percent chance of a shower storm tomorrow. 30 to 40 percent chance in Grenada. Better chance of a passing shower storm tomorrow. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance 30 to 40 percent in Martinique. Holding out a 40 percent chance of a pop-up shower storm in Dominica today. 40% chance for today in Guadalupe and a 40% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow, Antigua in Barbuda. It would be a, a shower that wouldn't last too terribly long. Same thing, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Rain chance about 40% today in Anguilla. We've had a few showers nearby and over towards St. Bart's. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, rain chance holding at 30% the next two days. 30 to 40% chance of a few thunderstorms in uh, Puerto Rico and very hot. Uh, U.S. British Virgin Islands passing shower possible. 40% chance in the Bahamas. That's as a whole, northern sections, New Providence, Freeport, better chance of some rain. Turks and Caicos, we could get a couple passing showers. Isolated shower storm in the Dominican Republic, very hot in Haiti. Pop-up storm uh, possible, especially uh, just to the east of uh, Port-au-Prince. Belize, a 40% chance of those scattered showers and storms. Aruba, we're generally dry. Can't rely out a small shower chance. Uh, Curacao over toward Bonaire. Rain chance 20 to 30% in Guyana. Small chance in Suriname. A lot of us have been a drier and hotter. 40% chance of those scattered storms across Cuba. Equal chances, uh, western, central, and eastern zones. Costa Rica, Panama, still some scattered showers and storms favoring the Pacific side. Nicaragua, 50% chance. 40% chance the next couple days in Honduras. 60% chance today, Guatemala, El Salvador, and a 50% chance tomorrow. 40% chance today in Mexico City. A little higher tomorrow, a 60% chance. 
30 to 40 percent chance scattered shower or storm across the Yucatan, uh, northern Colombia, 30 to 40 percent chance, and a passing shower possible in northern Venezuela and Bermuda, just keeping an eye on some of those fronts that are uh, nearby. All right, with that said, drier and hotter pattern, but still mixed in watching some of those stronger thunderstorms. Now, Looks like we're in that lull in activity, a break in activity, which I love for this time of year because we're pretty much in the peak of hurricane season. So anytime we could get a break, we will uh, take it early September. Should pick up again, not a surprise, watching the Eastern Pacific and monitoring any earthquake activity. So thank you for being with me. Hope you have a great day ahead.